Hi everyone, Rochelle from Kitsap CrossFit here with another Legends workout for you. Today we're going to do a 20 minute AMRAP, as many rounds and reps as possible, of a 200 meter run, 10 push ups, and 10 power cleans. So we'll start by warming up. The first thing I want you to do is think about your running course today. We're going to be running 200 meters ish in our workout. So for now, I just want you to run, jog, or briskly walk about 100 meters. If you can remember our course at the gym, you know, and the actual distance doesn't matter that much, but today we're gonna to be spending a lot of time outside, okay? So you're gonna run that 100 meters and then come back in, and I just want you to touch your toes 15 times, down and up. Maybe you start with your knees and work your way down, then come up on your calves, or on your toes and do 15 calf raises. Then we'll do arm circles, about 10 of each. Start tiny, then medium, and then your biggest circles are gonna be a lot slower, and then reverse the direction for the same thing. Then we'll hug, okay? Everybody needs a good hug these days, so cross that, uh, switch that top arm and go back and forth for 15 of those. Uh, then we'll lay down on the ground. The scorpion is intended to open up your shoulders as well as get a good trunk rotation. So you'll come down to the ground, hands out in a T, and just turn and you're opening up this outside shoulder, okay? That's your scorpion. Um, so there's your warm up. Go through that a couple of times. Okay. So today the workout is 20 minutes long. Like I said, you'll be spending a lot of your time outside on your run or your walk. Um, then we're going to do push-ups. So we've done these before. I've got a mat out here, uh, starting in a nice plank. For the safety of your shoulders, your hands need to be di or for directly underneath your shoulders. Squeeze everything nice and tight and simply go down to the ground and press yourself back up. Knees down, butt down for a modified version. Keep your head neutral. Or I can go to my bulkhead here, which will raise it up for me. Pick a side or pick a height that works for you. The wall, and maybe you do this part of the workout inside and then go outside for your run. The next thing we're gonna go over is the power clean, okay? So remember, I've, so I've got a couple of cans here and I'm gonna test the weight first. Each uh, rep is gonna come from the ground for these. So here is a power clean. So test your weight out first by deadlifting it a few times. If that uh, depth is too low, you can simply come just below the knee, okay? And then you're going to shrug and catch in this power position and stand. A lot of you, the knees and the jumping is a bit much, so we'll take it into a muscle clean. We'll go from the ground, boom, a rapid hip extension with no jumping involved. That's your muscle clean, okay? That's with a couple of cans. Um, challenge yourself to do something uh, that's heavy for you. So I've got this bag. If you wanna do one item, I found um, this bag. It works good. It's, it's kind of loose so I can get a hold of it. So now I'm gonna come in that same position here and catch. Or muscle clean it elbows underneath for that catch remember to keep that item nice and close with that path pass all right so again taking a look at the workout it's 20 minutes long remember that run that's going to take you uh, two and a half to three minutes so you can test it by bringing a watch out with you and go um, for about two and a half, three minutes and see that distance, check that distance. Then you'll come in and do your 10 push-ups, 
10 power cleans from the floor and simply repeat that for 20 minutes. If you have a treadmill or a rower or a bike, that's a great substitute. Again, go ahead and look at that time frame, two and a half to three minutes, look at how far you went and then just stick with that for each round. Okay, um, get outside, it's a beautiful week and let me know how you do. Have a great day.